Hey there, it's Kimberly from Keep the Tail Wagging, and I wanted to do a quick video in response to a video I saw yesterday by the dog dad, and it was about why face, um, Facebook raw feeding groups are bad. So of course that was the title, but he goes on to mention that not everything about Facebook groups are bad, but there were four things he wanted to point out, so I'm going to read the list to you now. Um, you never know who you're talking to, inconsistent information, unwarranted attacks, and transitioning to raw incorrectly. And I happen to agree with all four points and I'm just gonna share my own insight into it. So number one, you never know who you're talking to. That is so very true. Um, it seems like there's always going to be a handful of people in each raw feeding group that considers themselves an expert. While there are or may be veterinarians and nutritionists in the group, there are a lot of people who just have a lot of experience and they've done a lot of reading, research, they have dogs, they've been breeding dogs that are raw fed. And I'm not discounting that experience, but one thing that I've learned is that while they may have amazing experience and um, steps that work for them, they don't have any experience with my dog. So I always find it important to take in what you're learning, but also remember that you're ultimately responsible for taking care of your own dog. No one else is. So if you follow someone's bad advice without doing your own homework and your dog gets sick, it's on you, not on them. Um, another thing I found is that there are a lot of people in groups, and I shouldn't say a lot, I've come across a handful of people in Facebook groups who call themselves a nutritionist. And when you dig a little deeper, you find that, oh, they took a couple classes a few years ago, they were gonna get a degree, but they didn't finish it. Or somebody told them that they were so smart that they were, um, they may as well be a nutritionist because they had done so much research. No, 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 no. I think if you are going to claim the title, then you better have the certification and the education to back it up. Granted, I'm not dismissing experience because that's what I'm flying by on, but I also don't call myself an expert. I call myself a dog mom and a blogger and a raw feeder. I know how to feed four specific dogs a raw food diet and I can share my experience, but I cannot tell you what to do. I can only guide you. Number two, inconsistent information. This is so very true because if you ask one question in several groups, you're going to come back with several different responses. One thing that I asked, and it actually got me kicked out of a couple groups, was whether eggs, dairy, and um, I, think, I think it was just eggs and dairy, if it was part of BARF model or prey model. One admin kicked me out and said that I was a plagiarist, plagiarist so she basically accused me of stealing. Um, I don't know where that came from. It was really bizarre. And a lot of other people just felt that I was a troublemaker. I once asked in a group just for clarification on the rules. It sounded like they didn't, um, their rules actually said they don't promote vegetables, but they didn't say that we aren't allowed to discuss vegetables, which a lot of groups will say. And so I just wanted to make sure, should I not bring it up at all? And um, I asked that question and, and I was told, hey, this is how we feel about it. And I got a great understanding and I was like, okay, cool. And I just sort of walked away with, you know what, I'm just gonna not talk about vegetables in this group. Um, I was on my way to uh, either Las Vegas or Phoenix, I can't remember which. And um, when I got off the plane, I had been kicked out of the group. Why? For being a troublemaker for asking about vegetables and even more, I was, um, I got the privy of receiving two or three days of hate email from one of the admins, which takes us to unwarranted attacks. Oh my gosh, this happens all the time. And what's interesting to me is I find that people don't really think that they're attacking you. Sometimes they feel like, well, if I'm being polite in my attack, you know, I may be calling you names, but I'm just gonna say, well, that's just my opinion. I'm not actually calling you that. I'm just saying what you said was that. Things like that, but come on, we all know a character assassination when we hear it or see it on Facebook. So this happens a lot in raw feeding groups and it's unfortunate. I think what we're dealing with is a lot of egos. We're dealing with a situation in which we don't have body language, we don't have tone of voice, we don't have facial expression. So sometimes someone can say, hey, you know what guys, I don't think this is a good idea. And the original poster or OP will get all bent out of shape and feel that they're attacked. I actually had someone leave my raw feeding group who said she left because too many people were disagreeing with her and she felt attacked. And I actually respected her honesty. And I respected the fact that she left the group. She just was not prepared for that or ready for it. And that is exactly what you should do. 
when you join a raw feeding group, it's no joke. I think my group, which is Raw Feeders Kicked Out Club, don't kill me for mentioning it, um, I think my group is awesome, but we have had some pretty bad days. Today wasn't a great day. We had a not so great day last week and a few weeks before that, we had a not so great day. So people are human, people make mistakes, people you know, come to the group because they're dealing with shit and they're having a bad day and they take it out on someone and they don't really mean to. It's the way it is. So um, unfortunately, sometimes that can be, you know, sp spun out of control into an attack and a fight um, into off, you know, line private messages and nasty emails and all kinds of stuff. Or people can just say, hey, you know, I'm sorry about that. My bad. I um, wish I wouldn't have done that. In fact, a few days ago, I received this apology out of the blue from someone who said something that actually kind of hurt my feelings at the time. But then when I really thought about it, I didn't really care. And I had almost forgotten about it until they apologized. And I have to say, I appreciated it. So when it comes to unwarranted attacks, I find that when someone starts attacking me, it's best to just walk away. It's not even worth it. Keep your cool, walk away, let them have their little drama. Um, and remember that it's not about you. It's about whatever craziness is going on in their world where they feel that they have to be nasty to others. And then finally, transitioning to raw incorrectly. OMG, I think everyone who is experienced with raw feeding and has tried to like guide other people has come across that person who's super excited and um, transitioned their dogs incorrectly. And I'm gonna share my one story, and that is a person, this is a few years ago, was so excited and sent me a message that she had discovered um, a chicken thighs or chicken breast, something chicken, the family pack on sale at a grocery store. And she was so excited. So she bought the entire stock and she was gonna start her dogs on raw that night. And she just wanted to let me know. And I was just like, uh-oh. And I read her message to my boyfriend. Now I'm in charge of the food in our house. He's not, he's just, he watches me. But he even knew enough to know that that was not enough. And so I was trying to figure out a gentle way to, um, basically say, hey, I don't think you should start just yet. So I just asked questions and said, hey, what about the offal? Um, have, what did you, did you get any liver? Were you able to find any pancreas or kidneys? Um, um, you know, because it's a whole meat, you know, do you know how much bone is in that? Are you sure you're not giving too much bone? You know, how are you um, gonna put this together? And the person was like, what's offal? And how do I figure out how much bone is in the meat? Uh-oh. And to be honest, I have come across this time and time and again. And while I appreciate everyone's excitement to start raw, I honestly believe that when you come to the, the decision that you are going to switch to raw, slow your roll and start educating yourself. I always say start with pre-made. That way you can jump into raw, you have, you're feeding a balanced diet, and you can take the time to do the research and the homework you need to figure out what's right for your dog. So that is my um, two cents that lasted, I think, about six minutes. And um, I just wanted to say, when it comes to raw feeding groups on Facebook, you know, there are tons of them that are fantastic. They really are. And um, there are a lot of people out there who are more than happy to help. And I, my own group, I'm amazed at how much I learn every week from the people in the group just sharing what they're doing with their dogs and their cats. And we have one person who's feeding ferrets. It's really amazing. And I love it. And I've actually even been encouraged to try raw with my cat one more time. And, um, but it's just because people are so giving. But you are going to come across across the jerks. I mean, but that's everywhere in life. That's just the way it is. Unfortunately, some people kind of get off on the drama of stirring crap up in the groups. And I will say that I kind of get it because this is a former mean girl. I used to get off on drama. I wasn't a mean girl when we had Facebook groups, but I was kind of a shitty person for a long time. And I did get off on the drama. And you know why? Because I was miserable with myself, like really, really bad. And so whenever I see someone picking a fight with someone, that's what I see is who I used to be, someone who is miserable. So do not let that discourage you from joining a raw group. I know a lot of people are kind of afraid because they hear our stories. You know, don't let a jerk keep you from feeding your dog a better diet if that's what you want to do. And you will find plenty of us that are more than happy to help you. 
Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Dog Dad, for that great video. I absolutely loved it. Um, I will share a link to his video in the notes below. So go over and check it out. Talk to you later.